Hello everyone, it's Monday, never miss a Monday, Monday. It's day 51 of Train It Gain and I am feeling good. Um, let's start with training. So I should have got out of bed this morning and done a workout at about 5.30, but to be perfectly honest, I didn't want to. So I didn't. I stayed in bed for an extra half hour. I drove to Oxford, I've done a full day. I've got a meeting, I've just arrived at my hotel, but I've got a meeting. As soon as that meeting's done, I'm gonna go down to the gym and I'm gonna smash out a workout, I promise. So that will be my second workout of this week. And I'm on a contrast week, which means that I can choose whatever I want. So yesterday I did a run and some light weights and today I will see what takes my fancy when I get down there. Um, so that's training. I am also in lots of agony. So all here, top of my back and my rib cage is absolutely battered from doing the pull-ups with Coach Marshy and his crew on Saturday. So I did four lots of pull-ups and oh my days, I'm in pain and I kind of like it because it means that I've worked something that I haven't worked before. So my mission is to install a pull-up bar now into my garage so that I can create more of this pain. On the eat side, I'm in a hotel, which is a challenge because I'm here for three days. So you look at the room service menu, which isn't very creative, and it's all chips and sandwiches and God knows what, but there is a superfood salad with chicken, which is cool. There's steak, there's sea bream. So what I tend to do is look on the menu, look at all the different components of the dishes and then rearrange them a bit like a jigsaw ring down and say, okay, I know that you've got asparagus and I know that you've got chicken and I know that you've got new potatoes. They're all on different meals at the moment, but can you put those three things together and give me something healthy? And chefs are very accommodating, so they generally oblige. So that's top tip number one for hotel stayovers. Second thing is I've brought loads of food with me. So I've made overnight oats and I've made chia puddings. I've brought rice cakes with peanut butter sachets. I brought avocado with rye bread and I store all of that in the fridge at work or in the hotel. Now there isn't a hotel fridge in this room um, so if I there isn't one in the room then I ask to store it in the hotel fridge and I label everything and they'll do that for you. You just say you've got special dietary requirements and it's all good. So top tip number two. Overnight oats people are asking about there's recipes everywhere. They're all over Google. They're in loads of the, the healthy books. But to be honest, I just chuck it all together now um, and create something different every time. And as long as you track it from a macros perspective, it's win-win. Mindset. One question someone asked me this morning, how do you keep motivated in the early days? The same way as I keep motivated 13 months later. I look at my big pictures every day one small thing but my god I cried my eyes out when I took those pictures of me in my underwear when I first started out on body coach and I never fail to look at them every day because I am never going back there and if that doesn't keep you motivated nothing will so give it a try have a nice evening I'll speak to you all tomorrow